In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your diet plans and your workout plans for your clients. Now for your diet plans, we have a food database of 250,000 foods, but of course you can add your own to the system as well. And it's worth noting, with a diet plan or workout plan, you're essentially creating master templates. And the reason we've done it this way is so that you could create a core set of diet plans or workout plans that you're going to use on a regular basis, and then you could assign those to clients individually and make any changes specific to that client without actually affecting your master plan. Plan. Um, that way, if you wanted to, you could set up um, you know, your own sort of library of diet plans and, and workouts. And just it helps you long term to save time if you're finding that you're having the same sort of clients and the same sort of um, dietary needs and workouts over time. So without further ado, uh, let's go into one of the diet plans and show you how it works. So if I click on add diet plan, I'm going to have the option here to create a full meal plan. So that's a full macronutrient plan with um, all of the foods. So I can give every single detail that I want a client to actually do. Create a macro only meal plan you'd be familiar with. It's just setting macronutrients for each meal and your client can choose whatever they want to eat. Or you can upload a PDF, just a simple PDF recipe book, something like that, that you want your client to follow. So for this, we'll do the full meal plan. I'm gonna enter a title at the top. So I'll just put Mark's uh, new diet, we'll put Mark's new diet and add a new day. So we put in the first day and this we'll call, let's call it a training day diet. And so here it's gonna give you the total macronutrients as you start to add foods below. So meal title for meal one, I'm just gonna call it meal one. You might call it breakfast or something like that. And then you can choose to add foods. Um, so we're gonna search all foods or if you've got a little catalog of your own that you've added, you can choose just to search your own foods. Um, and you can click here to add as many foods as you like. So if I type in oats as an example, we'll just choose these oats, 100 grams. We'll say that's perfect, we'll go with that. Uh, we'll add in some whey protein with the oats. And that looks pretty good, so we'll add that. And that's, we'll say that meal's done. So now that meal's created, I can go ahead and add another meal. So this would be you know, meal two. And I'll just add one food item to this just so that you get the idea of how it works. Um, so for this one, if we add some chicken, and you can see we've got all the uh, typical foods that you would expect. Um, so we'll do 150 grams of chicken. Um, and then you'll see here as we're going up and down this button, add alternative meal. So if you have a client that likes to have choices as to the different things they eat, uh, you can specify an alternative meal for them. So you could have uh, meal one uh, alternative. And we'll save that. And then you'll see here, you've got this toggle now. So your clients will be able to choose between which meal. Um, and then you can see back and forth as well. It also updates the macronutrients at the top. So you can see, does this alternative meal match up with the macronutrients? Um, and if it does, great. If not, some adjustments might need to be made. Uh, you can now add a new day or you can copy and duplicate this day. So for example, if I do copy and duplicate, you can see the new days there. And I'll change this to a rest day. Um, and then when I save it, that will change. So down the bottom here, you can save the diet plan. And up the top, you've got a couple of options. So you can actually attach a PDF to support the diet plan. Um, if perhaps you wanted to give further information about uh, the type of cooking oils to use, the type of dressings, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can also add notes to the plan and also notes to each individual meal. Finally, up the top here, you've got this little settings cog and you can choose what you want your client to see. So perhaps, although you're giving all the ingredients, you only want your client, your client to pay attention to the protein and calories. Well, you could just turn these off and even turn off the summary panel and just have those two activated, which means your client would just see those in their plan. They wouldn't see any uh, of the others. So now we're going to workouts. I'll show you how to set up a workout. And you'll notice here we've got exercise library. So we have an exercise library database of all the most common exercises you might want to use with your clients, but you can upload your own or you can even use YouTube links and just copy them in and it will import the video directly from YouTube. Now if we go into plans and I click to add a workout plan, Again, I've got a couple of different options here. I could do a simple plan where I'm literally just gonna write out almost like a notes style on your phone, a detailed plan, or you can upload a PDF and an Excel file. So we'll, for the purposes of this, we'll create a detailed plan and I'll put in, um, let's call it a push pull leg workout. Because again, this can be used as a master template. So when you assign it to a client, the any changes you make for the client are just specific to them, not to your master template. So you can keep uh, reusing it. Here at the top, you can add a, an overview if you wanted to specify specific terminology in your plan. And you can also attach a PDF if you have that already, so you don't have to keep typing it out. So first of all, we'll click on add a new day and we'll call this the push day. And you can add as, pretty much as many days as you want. I think it goes up to about 25. 
um, if you need 25, but you can add as many days as you want uh, here. And then if you scroll down, you see you've got the opportunity to copy or duplicate the days as well. So for instance, if you're doing push-pull legs and then you're doing a variation two, you might want to keep the, some of the same exercises, but change the order or change the reps or something. So you can do all of that on the system. So on our push day, we're going to search for an exercise. So we'll just do bench press and we'll do four sets of eight to 12 reps. And here you can specify some more details. So you might say something like, um, start out 12 reps, and then you'll naturally uh, reduce reps as you go on, make sure you stay in the rep range, reduce weight if you need to, something like that. And then if you click on this little icon, it's gonna show you a preview of the exercise video and the image as well. And of course you can change these or upload your own. So we are given you the opportunity here to add more details. So if you want to provide some more specific information to your clients, you can choose RPE or, or RIR, rest period, intensity, tempo, and you can also set up supersets here. So you can add multiple supersets, giant sets into your plans for your clients. To add another day, simple as clicking here or copy and duplicate the day over. And in one of the next videos, I'll show you how this all looks in the app for your clients um, so that you can see how they log their workouts and how they might actually train going through everything when they're in the gym.